Hey everyone, welcome back. Now I want to go over the kit I've assembled to put in the back of my uh, car, right? So it's going to go on the back seat in the very back and at the end of the video I'll show you what that looks like. But this is a general uh, emergency prepper car kit, right? So I got a mole system that hangs off the back seat and uh, you know, limited space so you have to choose what you want to put on it. So I'm going to show you what I got and what I choose to go with and maybe give you a brief description of why. So I'm going to move my camera down here and try to get it at an angle where I can film this stuff for you. So as you see here, the kit's on a, a rack that hangs. Now there's a couple things I haven't tied down yet because I wanted to show you what's, when I got in this kit here. And I definitely have a cover that will go over it. You'll see that at the end, right? So yeah, let's get into this. So the first thing I have on the top is I have a towel and I've done a video on this already as part of my EDC hygiene kit, but it's always good to have a microfiber towel. You get caught out in the rain or you need to cover something up. And uh, I also have another one of these ground tarps, similar to the one I'm sitting on here. I did a video on these pouches as well. These are basically uh, nylon pouch blankets, and it's good to have a blanket there as well. So I got that lined up. I got some glow sticks here, nothing fancy. This kit contains um, a little survival shovel. And I also have included in here a uh, heavy duty figure eight for any rope work or towing that might be needed. I have a pair of brand new gloves. Again, any rope work or anything needed, we'll need the gloves. Over here you can see I've got clipped on a brand new set of rope, heavy duty climbing rope. Um, and it comes with two heavy duty carabiners as well. Also on the top here, I have a little pry bar pry tool. It's called the Reaper. It also has a rope cutter and a scraping blade. This can be used in a pinch if I need to pry something small. It can also be used as a weapon if needed because it does have a very sharp blade. Um, a long Phillips and a long flat blade screwdriver. On the other side, I have a fixed blade knife, one of the same knives that I showed and showcased in my fixed blade video. On this side, clipped in, I have two road triangles, right? I don't need to open these to show you what they are. These are the red reflective road triangles you'd put out to let someone know there's an accident or a wreck or something around the corner. And I also have a, a charged USB light. If you're ever in a situation where we need light, we got a light bar that we can use. Especially if it's an emergency signal light bar like this, it's pretty bright. It can be set on top of the car or used for anything. If there's any first aid need to be rendered in the dark, um, this provides a lot more stable light than a regular flashlight would. I also have here a crowbar. Let me unclip it. So besides the little pry bar that you've seen already, I got a handy duty, a little bit heavier pry bar here, nail puller pry bar. Um, good little tool to have in your car if you need to pry open a door or something. I have a first aid kit here. I won't go into it, um, but it's pretty comprehensive. I put it together myself out of the quality things I wanted. It will just snap off here. If I need to take just the first aid kit, I can just snap that right off, right? So that's something I have there as well. I have the little Gerber hatchet in case it's needed. And then my tool bag here can also snap off. I got just a couple of uh, towels on the outside two flashlights and a pocket knife, but the main component here is going to be full of all the tools and everything that you'll need. Let me open this up here so you can kind of get an idea of what I'm talking about. So I got some micro 
cord. Always good to have micro cord. I got a little hammer, just in case you need to hammer something down or the crowbar is not working. I do have some large black trash bags. I have needle nose pliers, regular pliers, a set of Allen wrench tools, a vice grip, and some wire cutters. So those are the tools I have in the bag. And this bag can be, it's just snapped on as well. This bag can be easily removed and just the tools taken to where you need to use just the tools. I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up here. Have it go on top. I also have in there some duct tape, some wipes, and some dry wipes, which I've done a video on already before, so you should be familiar with those. And I have a, a multi-tool here as well, just in case I need something a little bit finer. So I have all these tools on the inside the tool pouch that is detachable. Let me go ahead and close that back up here. All right, oops, I forgot to put some tools in. All right, so flashlights, tools, things. Now, it's interesting because there's so many options you can put in your um, car backseat prep kit. I also have a small EDC um, pouch that's in the glove box with a bunch of minor small things. I wanted something that had a low profile um, and that would not take up a lot of the trunk room. I do have um, battery charger cables and other things down where the jacks are, so I do have that. <clears throat> and this is just the stuff I had on hand that I thought would be great to always have in the car. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm going to go ahead and install this once I put everything back together. And I'll show you what it looks like in the back of the car. So stand by for two seconds. All right, so this particular seat I picked lays flat. So if you just laid it down, you have everything in front of you uh, if you need to get to it. Or I can put the cover on this and flip it up. And let me show you what that looks like here, one second. So there's not a lot of light in here, and that's black. Let me grab my little pocket flashlight here real quick, show you what we got going on. Get the cover up on there. Now, I'm gonna have to work on a couple things. It's kind of lumpy, but it's gonna hang there. And the reason I put that black sack over it is to deter theft. But uh, <coughs> my seat's at an angle here, so it's kind of shifting things around. So I will work on adjusting that. I really just kind of wanted to get a video out to you guys so you can see the stuff I'm prepping for the car. Trust me, I'll get it all sorted out, but those are the items. They'll always be in the car along with some uh, there's always water. My wife's a volleyball stuff. And I believe down there is, sorry about the noise. And underneath where the tire goes is uh, jumper cables. All right guys, uh, I appreciate you watching the video. Any comments and feedback below. I will work on getting the straps and that stuff tied down a little bit better. But uh, at least I got the gear and I got it set up. Thank you.